Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get into today's video, I just wanted to talk about this Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner. So I used to use toner back in high school whenever I was using Proactive, and I'm not sure why I cut toner out of my skincare routine. Not sure at all, but I think I just thought it was like an unnecessary extra step, but I was completely wrong. All my discoloration and my redness and my skin, it feels like everything's blurred and flawless and my skin feels just amazing. And in my opinion, if I think that it feels amazing, that's all that matters to me. So I am showing you the products that I used prior to turning on my camera. Um, I put on my foundation, concealer, powders, bronzer, and contour. So I am so hype about this video. Hilary Duff is, is and was my idol for so long. Lizzie McGuire I thought was my personal best friend. Um, I was obsessed with her. She was literally my everything. So I was really curious one day um, and I looked up Hilary Duff's makeup artist. Well, when you type into Google Hilary Duff's makeup artist, it comes up Kelsey De Deanahan. Oh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sure I'm not. But under the bio, it says thanks to Instagram tags. We know the Los Angeles based makeup artist Kelsey Dean Han is responsible for Duff's bridal beauty look. So I went on to Instagram and I typed her name in there and she does beautiful makeup on a lot of celebrities and but the but the one that really really stuck out to me was this look that she did on Hilary Duff. It's nothing crazy, nothing too dramatic, but it was so Hilary Duff and it looked so beautiful on her and I was obsessed with the colors the berry purple lilac mauve shades oh it's everything so I was like you know what I have not done a celebrity look in a little minute so who else better than to do a Hillary Duff look I am very super super excited and I know very super excited just doesn't make sense but that is literally how I'm feeling so let's get on to the video and I might come back on here and chit chat with you guys a little bit later throughout the video but I really just want you to sit back enjoy this just as much as I did Also, I wanted to say this Kylie palette, I have two of them. I got gifted these for Christmas this past year by my girlfriend's brother and his girlfriend. So I know Kira told me that her and Tristan sometimes watch my videos. So if you are listening, thank you Kira and Tristan. It is going into great use and for this look it was absolutely perfect um these shades just worked and matched so well
here I couldn't really decide what I was going to do. The two shades, Shining Star and Berry Mary. Um, I couldn't really decide which one I was going to put on my lid all over. So I ended up swatching both of them. Um, Shining Star is that more sheer color and Very Merry is that very merry beautiful color. Um, so I ended up going with that Very Merry color. It's like a pretty purple berry color. And I ended up taking that with my finger and putting it all over the lid. I just couldn't really tell if it was going to be more shimmery if, or if it was a more glittery formula. Um, I'm not too familiar with Kylie's eyeshadow, so I just wanted to test it out first. And this shade ended up being exactly what I wanted. And you would think that those glittery products would be very gritty and almost hard to work with but it's kind of crazy because whenever you swatch it and you touch that color it's very soft and very cushiony and it goes on to the lid like a dream so yeah it ended up working amazing and this palette is everything I could have asked for for this look So here I'm picking up the shade Gift Wrap on a fluffy brush. And the reason why I'm picking up this shade is because that original transition shade that I put down in the first place was very warm. And I think it's just because that's what I'm used to and that's the shade that I put down regardless of what I'm doing. Um, but whenever I looked at the picture of Hillary, she had a very mauve cool tone, kind of purple shade in her crease. So this palette, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, was everything that I needed. There's, what, six shades in this palette. So if you're ever in the mood for a cool tone, berry, purple moment, then I would pick this up. But I don't really know if I can speak on that because clearly by the names, it's a, and when I got it, it's a holiday palette. So... I don't know just do your research and I'll do my research on my side and if you can pick it up definitely pick it up and if I can find it I will link it down below
And yes, when I go to McDonald's, the workers look at me like I'm a weirdo whenever they ask me what I want to drink and I say water. But everything else in the world just goes right when you're drinking water. Your skin's glowing, stomach's flat. I mean, who wouldn't want to drink water? I've been on this kick for two years. I am not turning back. This mascara is so bomb. This might be one of my new favorite mascaras, which is kind of crazy because my Magnum Triple X mascara by Stila has been my favorite for so long, but I don't know. I really like this. I really like it. Butter London. I don't have many products from them, but I might just change my mind on it, so. Also, my sister gave me this mascara in one of her Ipsy bags, so thanks, Sissy Girl, you put me on.
All right, my friends. Now this is the completed look. I really hope that you enjoy this as much as I did. Hilary Duff is one of my favorite celebrities of all time and her makeup artist did such a cute job on this and I am obsessed. So if you guys like these celebrity makeup looks, make sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment on who you wanna see next. Make sure you turn on those notification bells and subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 500. I am so excited. We are almost halfway to my goal for when I started this channel. So let's keep it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel so grateful. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.